Well, today we're going to give a, an update on what we think is probably the most exciting exploration area on the planet today. With seven discoveries so far this year and another 11 exploration wells expected before year end, we are of course referring to Guyana, Suriname. This is the area we're looking at and we're going to look at Guyana activity, then on to Suriname well activity and then just loop back and do a catch up on where Starbrook uh, development is up to. The area is very, very fast moving. So, you know, inevitably there will be mistakes and uh, probably omissions. So uh, please let us know in the comments below or send us any information. If we've got it wrong, we want to try and get it right and update it next time around. OK, so the story so far, this is a map. It was actually presented on the 6th of June and it's a, a map done by uh, CGX Energy and uh, it's, it's a great map but unfortunately some of the wells been drilled since then uh, mean it's slightly out of date so uh, if you snooze you lose uh, in Guyana Suriname um, so let's look at Guyana so the Starbrook block um, we continue to see discoveries since the last video we did we've added Fangtooth and Lau, Lau or Exxon Mobil rather have added them it's two really uh, great wells um, with 50 meters and 96 meters uh, of hydrocarbons uh, respectively um, so you can see where they're lo located and then we've also had an announcement of the uh, Barolai, Patwa and Lucanani discoveries. And what's really significant about these is you can see the red dots here. They're actually extending the play area. They're pushing both uh, more to the east, more to the to the south and more to the west. Uh, it, it's it, uh, That's great news. And, and what we'll see uh, really is that with this trend here, the, the Fangtooth, the Barolai and Lucanani were actually kind of coming more towards the coast, the more proximal areas. They are the, uh, the the partners in the block and there's now 26 significant oil discoveries have been announced uh, and that's uh, since uh, only 2015. So we've been talking in the past about these uh, these plays here which are these uh, submarine fan sands and basin floor fans and really with the uh, with the wells you see that are close to the coast we are perhaps moving further up the uh, the system here into the slope fans and and that's the uh, that's the sort of of, uh, area that we might be uh, seeing these new discoveries in when you see this here proximal it kind of looks a little odd because well it's it's very very distal what this is saying is of course that this fan is is relatively close to the to the shell shelf break at that time so it would be proximal back in say the uh, the Turonian but this is the play and and who knows just um, how far some of the hydrocarbons migrated up onto the shelf now there have been a number of wells on the shelf and there have been some some dry holes but but we do know feels like calcutta on shore in suriname that uh, hydrocarbons has actually made it all the way to the shoreline so um, this is another look at the starbrook block this was from a presentation hess gave on on the 23rd of june you can see Hess are, are well located within the area with, with 20% up to around about 33% in some of the blocks, both in Guyana and across the border here into, into Suriname. So great exposure there. Continuing with uh, Starbrook, well, the Banjo well um, has sputtered. It sputtered on the 21st of June, and that's the approximate location for, for Banjo. And we have two other wells, the Seabob and the Kiru Kiru, which... Uh, or will be uh, spudding in the next few months. So a really busy time for the block and, and we'll have another update uh, in, in the coming months. So uh, looking at appraisal activity, well, we uh, we don't know what's happened to uh, tilapia. Um, this was supposed to be uh, drilled back in uh, March time this year. It was a 2019 discovery, but uh, it, it was supposed to be the, uh, the noble Sam Croft. We haven't actually seen maybe a, a change of the sequencing there and uh, that's reordered which wells are going to get drilled first. Looking at developments, well, within the block, ExxonMobil and partners have announced that the fourth development will be Yellowtail. It's going to have uh, six drill centres and between 45 and 55 development wells tied back to uh, the one Guyana FPSO vessel for processing. The expectation is that uh, it'll produce uh, around about 250,000 barrels of oil per day and uh, expected first oil is in uh, 2025. 
The uh, development now also includes um, the 2020 discovery for, uh, at Redtail. Reminder, uh, Lisa 1 and Lisa 2 already on stream. This is the Lisa Destiny here. The third development, Pyara, is under construction and uh, first oil is expected at uh, year-end 2023. So here are those developments on a map here. We can see the uh, the two vessels here at, at Lisa. Both uh, are producing. The Lisa 2 is, is almost twice the capacity of Lisa 1. And then Payara is going to be another large FPSO and Yellowtail destined to be the, the biggest yet. Upcoming wells, uh, if we move out of Starbrook now and we move into the Quarantine block, this is uh, operated by CGX Energy, and uh, the next well in the sequence is due to spud in the next few weeks or next month or two, and that's the Way 1. Going to be using the the Merce Discovery drill ship. Uh, it targets for this Way 1. This western and eastern complex is, is referring really to the Kawa, which we've done a, a video on previously, and, and we'll put a link to that at the end if you want to go back and have a look at that. There's a lot of geology in there. And uh, and then moving across here to Way 1. Way 1 is, is going to be targeting these uh, these Campanian and uh, Santonian uh, channel fan complexes. Moving across to Suriname, this is a map from Tullow. Here's the location of the, the Rasper 1, which was uh, reported as a, a dry hole by operator Apache. We've had the uh, Crab Dagu test results and Total Energies have put out some more information on that and we'll look at that in a second. Finally, we've got in, in block 42, Shell getting ready or may even have sputtered um, right now, the Sandridge Well, due in the third quarter of 2022, targeting again the Campanian Santonian reservoirs and there's the partnership and it's gonna be drilled with the, uh, the Maersk Voyager uh, drill ship. So back to Crab Dagu, here's the test results that were uh, announced by Total Energies. Two zones were tested, the upper Campanian and lower Campanian with 35 and 37 API oil stirp, about 180 million barrels in place combined. Drilled by the Maersk Valiant drill ship um, down to 5,273 metres, had 90 metres of net oil pay in good quality sandstones. What's the summary? What are the key learnings? Well, uh, by our reckoning so far, the 2022 scorecard has seven discoveries and we're expecting somewhere in the region about 11 more exploration wells in 2022. It's great to see that many companies are having success and the play fairway is being extended but you know we do would like to see some bolder step outs into uh, the Demerara block um, up towards the uh, the ranger well uh, and, and in various other parts of, of the basin to, to really try and see just how extensive the uh, petroleum play might be. There's supposed to be a, a deep water round in Suriname in Q4 of this year, so we'll be covering that as news and the terms become better known and anticipated there's going to be a, a follow-up on the uh, the shallow water round in 2023. We're expecting the next video should be around about uh, quarterly, um, so if you've got any news, please uh, please send it in to us and, and we'll include it in here. Share this with your colleagues, you know, in-house, your partners, friends and colleagues. Um, that's how we can justify making these videos if we get lots of people watching them and, and commenting on them and, um, and giving us some, some feedback. Watch this space. I look forward to seeing you back on our channel before too long. Well, I hope you enjoyed our roundup. Please support us by subscribing, liking, following, ringing that bell. And please just send it out to all your friends and colleagues uh, so that they can get up to date with what's happening in this really exciting and important region.